traces back to its strengthening ways again this morning. Now a Category 1 hurricane for the second time in its existence after it made landfall on the Yucatan early yesterday morning. Currently at 20.6 degrees north, 93.7 degrees west, headed towards Veracruz along the coast of the main part of Mexico. So currently 85 mile per hour winds and a pressure of 983 millibars. Recon was quite instrumental in uh, delivering that information and that's what the National Hurricane Center have gone with at their latest advisory. Big upgrade from what it was earlier. Potential landfall zone is at Tupan in the northern part of Veracruz. Tomorrow morning stage 4 on the CDPS scale we're expecting a significant hurricane landfall and rain totals which could be uh, flood inducing and obviously flood, uh, mudslides could also be a significant risk from this storm. The uh, wind radius there is uh, quite large towards the north, not so much on the southern side just yet, that might build over time though. Hurricane warning in effect of course for the region ahead of it, it's currently 297 miles from Heroica Vera Cruz, 352 from Jalapa, 383 from Tuzpan, 500 from Puebla and 580 from Mexico City. A staggering 30 million people are in a 10% chance for 50 knot winds over the next two or three days because that massive population center around Mexico City uh, is potentially on the edge of this storm over the next few days. And indeed the storm will probably pass over it, what's left of it by then. So currently 85 mile per hour winds, so the satellite estimates are way off the pace though. Um, satellite appearance isn't particularly convincing, but it's recon and observations inside the storm, direct observations that have actually brought us to the current conclusion of 85 miles per hour. So there it is right now on the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. You can see the hurricane warning zone and a small tropical storm warning zone north of there. Um, and expected to make that hurricane landfall that would be early in the morning on Saturday or indeed very late this evening tonight. It's another nighttime landfall I'm afraid uh, but of course Force 13 will be there with live coverage when it does that. So models this is what it looks like right now and the storm's progress uh, you can quite clearly see the landfall intensification rate before that landfall and then it moves over land and then out into the eastern pacific what's left of it will survive um, and possibly have a brief tropical storm peak again uh, in the um, eastern pacific whether it's got a different name or whether it will stay under the grace name we'll have to see those are the rainfall totals the yellow areas that's four inches of rainfall so the orange is there that's quite large amounts of rain um, near the landfall zone we could be looking at isolated amounts of 15 inches. Sea surface temperatures around the storm are fairly warm, around 27 pushing 28 degrees Celsius. When it enters the eastern Pacific it will remain warm at first and then tail off towards the uh, end of the five day period. Uh, day 6, day 7 it will drop to about 24 degrees. This is what the models are saying right now. HMON and HWRF are in there with a major category 3 peak whether that happens or not we'll have to see but rapid intensification cannot be ruled out at this point wind shear is low to moderate 10 to 20 knots sea surface temperatures of course are very warm and uh, the track forecast there is pretty much set in stone of course land interaction will start to weaken the storm quite quickly this is the latest satellite imagery on how the storm's been developing. Massive amounts of convection blowing on the northern side of the storm and you can quite clearly see why the uh, wind radius is much larger on the northern side than it is on the southern side. A little bit bare on the southern side as a matter of fact, but that looks like it's going to build in very soon um, and uh, Grace looks to be on an intensification trend. Massive amounts of water vapor in that convection on the northern side southern side just needs to fully build in there and then we'll probably see some more intensification before that landfall in about uh, 18 hours.